If you're looking for free fonts, then the first website I'm going to show you today is actually the League of Movable Type. I have a few more after this, but um, this is a great place to start. Now, this isn't a huge website, but they do have some very high quality fonts you can use, all open source. So as you go in, you can download them and use them for any commercial projects or personal projects. And uh, it's very easy to simply go in there, explore the font and uh, download for use whenever you are ready. The second is Font Space, which has a huge uh, sort of selection of fonts you can go through. Most of these are for personal use only, so not something you can use for paid jobs, but it is a good site that does have a lot of fonts you can play around with and use or even discover. And I'm sure you can go and buy commercial uh, licenses if you want. And you can easily do this nice little preview here, see how things look and uh, download whenever you're ready. There's also a search function if you're looking for something in particular to get a particular look. And it's a really great source of fonts and one I reckon is worth checking out, Font Space. Since the dawn of the internet, there's been 1001 free fonts. I remember looking at this website when I was much younger, when I was first starting to look for these things. Once again, mostly free for personal use. I'll get to some more of the commercial places later. But as you can see here, this one is free. Um, and you can go through and check out these for yourself. Download them when you're ready. And it's a great place. It has a ton of different categories you can check out. So we can go through to Alien and check out the different sort of uh, font types they have there. It's very easy to explore and find what it is you're after. I particularly always like distorted or eroded fonts, although I don't use them a lot commercially, but they're always fun to play with. That's 1001 free fonts. It's been around for quite some time. Highly recommend checking out. The next is Google Fonts. Everything on Google Fonts you can use for free or commercial, and it's a pretty cool system. I can type something in here like my name, I can go through different categories, although there's not as many categories as some, but uh, if you understand anything about fonts, if you want to have a serif or sans serif font, you can check that out, or display, and of course you can look for something. And the good thing about Google Fonts is anything you use here is also available as a web font which means you can use them on your websites as well. So when you click on a font such as Climate Crisis, not only can you download the family up here, also go here to select regular, view your selected families, and it'll give you the code you need to add to your website in order to use that font so you can actually further customize your website using some very basic CSS and uh, use Google Fonts as your source of those fonts. The next is Font Squirrel, which is a commercial free font site, which allows you to go through and search for fonts that are also commercially free. So this means all the fonts here, you can take and use as you please. They have uh, probably one of the, uh, outside of Google Fonts, one of the best selections of commercially us usable free fonts. So I highly recommend checking out Font Squirrel if you're looking for something a little bit different to uh, sort of use on your next project. The next is Neo Gray, which actually isn't so much uh, just a font site as much as a creator who shares his fonts for free personal use and sometimes commercial use. You go to his website, head to fonts, and you can see he's got a bunch of fonts he's created himself. And you can see some, some you can see quite easily up for free for personal use as he'll display it on the banner, but he'll give a few examples and there are a few in there for commercial use, but primarily personal use but uh, just some really, really cool and unique fonts by a great font designer. I highly recommend checking out Neo Gray. This next site is one of the biggest sites out there, defont.com. Now, these are mostly free for personal use, but it has a massive range of fonts you can explore. You can go through, check out all the different categories. And of course, you can type your text in here and you can explore and dig for fonts for days at this place. There are a few that are 100% free, but most of them are free for personal use. So probably it's gonna take a little bit more looking to find that one that you can use on your paid project, but uh, a great site either way, finding really, really cool fonts, a massive range that you could basically get lost in trying to find what you're after, which if that's what you need, the font is perfect for that. So rapid fire, there's a few font sites for you there that you can use. Uh, they're all very, uh, very good sites, very reputable. There are a ton out there, but these are the ones I use a lot. I uh, highly recommend checking those out. And if you have any other you recommend, leave a comment below and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you again next time.